Hello all, it's Lady L with Lady L Life Talks. How you doing today? Today we're going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 through 3. Okay? It reads, and I hope this encourages you today. When I came to you brothers, I did not come with eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaimed the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Christ Jesus and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and with much trembling. First of all, I just want to say that this particular scripture really encouraged me. Why? Because it showed me that, you know, he understood what it, what, what it meant to share the gospel. And that, you know, sometimes we want to come with all these words and we want to come like we don't want to share our faith until we have the, the right lingo and the right things to say. And we want to sound all educated. And he was like, no, he came to he, he when he went to share his faith, that was fear and trembling there. You know, he, he wasn't eloquent. He didn't feel like he had superior wisdom. But here's the thing. I know all of this, us feel this. I feel this. When I go out and share my faith, oh my goodness, my stomach gets tied up in knots. The spirit is like tapping me on the shoulder. Okay, her over there, her over there. Okay, by the register, go share with her. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just like, and then Eventually, I'll go do it. I'll muster up the courage and, you know, and I'll go over there and I'll share my faith and everything. And he felt the same thing, too. So this is the thing. You're not alone in feeling this. I'm not alone in feeling this. <laughs> you know, he felt this. So I just want to say to you, you are not alone in your feelings of intimidation, fear, nervousness when the spirit prompts you to share why you believe what you believe with someone. You're not alone, okay, in feeling those feelings of trepidation. Sharing the gospel, even for Paul, caused trembling and fear. Paul, the great Paul, okay, and probably weakness at the knees too, okay, I'll start sweating, all kind of things, you know, but I resolve to do what the spirit tells me to do. So here's the thing. When those feelings come over you, when the spirit is prompting you to share with this person, share with that person, you know, go over there, you know, <laughs> uh, and, and everything. Take the time to say a quick prayer and resolve to share the good news, the gospel of Christ, okay? The gospel of your faith, any way you have been deemed available to do it. Guess what, guys? Guess what, ladies? You are qualified by God to do it. You're qualified. All of us are qualified. Your weakness in this area can actually be a blessing. Why? Hmm. Why can it be a blessing? Okay. Because then you know and you realize that you have a need for God and that you must lean on God and not on your own abilities. To God be the glory always. Now, here's the thing. Go out and share your faith. Go out and share Jesus. Go out, be blessed, and bless others. Ta-ta!